everybody, it's Shona here with an Insights video, and this is one in the series of my Hula Hoop Adventure, and today is the big day. I am going to try my new Hula Hoop. Now, just to recount where we've been so far in the series, in case this is the first one you're watching, uh, first of all, I figured out that I wanted to learn how to do the Hula Hoop, that I wanted to learn how to drill it. I had run across an old Hula Hoop of that belonged to my dog when we did agility and I thought you know I'm just gonna try it and I couldn't try it so then it aroused in me that desire to learn how to hula hoop because I couldn't do it well I got to looking around for things and ended up having to order a new hula hoop which I had to build and I had to do instructions uh, so I've been through the whole thing the desire to having to do research to buying it to wait till it got here to opening it to assembling it in my last video so now it's time to try it now one of the things I discovered when I started researching when I wasn't able to use the hula hoop I couldn't get the hula hoop I already had to work I, I went to an instruction video on how to hula hoop and they said that you needed several things uh, first of all they said that you needed the right sized hula hoop okay so I didn't have that one I had this one for a long time okay and you'll see in a minute I can show you the comparison so then it says okay wear clothes that are a little bit more tight fitting so you don't have extra fabric to hinder the ac action of the hula hoop you know with your body okay so check I've got my tighter fitting clothes on and then it said you had to move in a certain direction okay so they say you had to get there and you had to move like this okay so I've got that down at least I think I've got it down and then I've got my hat on hat really doesn't help with the hula hoop but it helps with the video because I'm having a bad hair day and so it's real easy I don't have to wash my hair or anything I just stick it in a ponytail put my hat on and I'm all set to try my hula hoop so first of all I want to show you this here is the hula hoop that I started with, okay? This is the hula hoop that I bought that should be about the right size. The lady in the video did say the right size video, the right size hula hoop is about as tall as your belly button. So you can see where this one is totally not even close to my belly button. This one, I'm a little nervous, first time I've tried it, it's about an inch and a half taller than my belly button so I don't know if maybe it's going to be too big because I'm not a very big person myself oh and as a side there you are as a side note I'm so excited because my little dog Penny I dressed her up she wanted to get dressed up for this occasion so my little dog Penny is sitting right here so here's Penny she sits uh, she sits on the couch when I'm doing these videos. So here's Penny. She's all dressed up for this momentous occasion. Okay. All right. So Penny's ready. I'm ready. And I'm sure you're ready because it's been pl plenty of videos getting to this point. But really, the hula hoop is like a chronicle of the Christian life. Everything that I'm doing, getting things ready, doing research, learning, making sure I'm equipped the way I'm supposed to be. It's all part of the Christian walk. All right. Now, I'm hoping I don't hit furniture. I've got a chair over here. I've got Penny over there. This could be dangerous. I may should have tried this in my backyard. Oh, no. First, sorry. Sorry. I want to show you what it was like when I was using the one that's too little. Okay, so here we go. So, see? Got everything. I've got the right clothes on. I have the right movement, I think. I have the right movement. Oh, that was that was pretty good. But it doesn't work. All right. So now, this is the moment we've been waiting for for how many weeks? Let me see how much time I have. Okay, I've stopped. Get on my time. Okay, I'm going to try. I'm a little bit nervous with Penny there. So I'm going to move Penny. Give me Penny. I would feel really bad if I hit her with this weighted hula hoop. I might injure her. All right. So Penny's 
Maybe she'll watch through the gate. Maybe she'll... Hey, baby. You can come back in a minute. Oh, look, and Kramer's here. Kramer's the dog that started this hula hoop stuff. Okay, so here we go. Woo! Oh, look at that. It did good. I had more success that first time with this hula hoop than I did the little one in all those attempts. So it would have kept going except, except for the couch. Woo! Look at this. Oh my gosh. I can't believe how easy, whoops, I lost my footing, so let me start again. Can you believe that? I thought really I would have, oh, a little bit more trouble just because it was so hard. But look, I'm not having to move as much. This hula hoop is making a huge difference. Oh, and because I'm being careful, now it was slowly going down. But look at that. Look at the success. Okay, I'll do it one more time. Now, oh, oh, this thing is kind of heavy. And if it hits just right, it hurts like my organs. So if, I, if it rides in the wrong place. Oh, okay, it's not the most comfortable. Okay, so I'm having to, oh, all right. Okay, okay, so I can do it. So now I can do this. Well, let me get, put it aside. That's gonna be a real good workout. And my end game is I wanna lose a little bit off of my waist. So I talked just a little bit earlier about that my hula hoop journey has been like the Christian walk. I had to, number one, I had to decide that I was gonna do it. I had to be serious about it. I just couldn't take it lightly and say, oh, I'm gonna be a Christian and then just do nothing about it. If I had done that with the hula hoop and just said, oh, I'm gonna learn how to hula hoop, and then just use this one and then just set it aside and it, I wouldn't have been very successful. That's like the Christian walk. You can't just decide you want to be a Christian and then just set it aside. You have to do it. I went and did research on hula hoops so that I could figure out. Well, first I looked at the instructions and the lady, the hula hoop lady told me what I needed. If I hadn't looked at that video, I would still be trying to hula hoop with this little hula hoop and still having terrible results. That's kind of like, that's kind of like life. If you become a Christian, but yet you don't change anything, you don't try to figure out what it's like to live the Christian life, then probably things aren't going to improve a whole lot. And part of that improvement came with me having to do a lot for me. No one else could pick my clothes for me. No one else, you know, I guess people, someone else could have done the research, but I researched the hula hoop. When I became a Christian, I got in the Bible myself and figured out what this thing called Christianity is. All the things that Jesus has to offer, all the things that I needed to make myself a better person. Um, really, that's what I worked on the most was making me a better person. I didn't have time to point figures at other people because I was so busy working myself. Um, I didn't have any time to worry about other people's exercise programs because I've been busy diligently getting everything right for my hula hoop. You know, I had to build my hula hoop. I needed instructions for that. It's like life. When you're walking life uh, through life as a Christian, you need to have the instruction manual, which in the last video I shared was the Bible. Um, there's just... There's just so many things to do. You don't have success unless you have the desire, invest the time, and really want to do things up right. And that's what I'm discovering. Now, as I was doing this, I remember, as I was doing the hula hoop just now, I remember the review said that some people end up with some bruises around their waist because it's a heavy. It only weighs about, I think, I think it less, weighs less than two pounds or maybe around two pounds. But it's hard. It's got like a foam layer on the outside, but it's hard. So when I'm hula hooping, because my body's not built up to that yet, um, it hits a few places and it, it hurts. And I figure I might have, just from this trial run, I figure I might have a few bruises before it's all over. That's like the Christian life. Some people get started with the Christian life and think that it's going to be smooth sailing. No, it is not smooth sailing. Is it easier sailing? I would say yes, because I have God to help guide me through the difficult parts and to give me peace 
where otherwise without him, I might be uh, like have a disaster. I might be mean. I might be grumpy, all things like that. But just like hula hooping, there's going to be still things I need to learn about hula hooping. And it's I might get a few bumps and bruises. The Christian life is like that too. Don't let every, anyone ever tell you that it's a walk in the park when you become a Christian. Because it isn't. We still have to get through life here on this earth. It's just that we have a little bit easier means of getting through it uh, with God. And when we use his instruction manual and we try to do it and do it his way, I've been at this for a while. And before I was at this, I did plenty of years without it in my life. And I can tell you it's a whole lot easier navigating through life um, with God and Jesus a part of it. So we'll see where this hula hoop adventure is going. I'll check back with you once I'm a little bit more of an expert and have a little bit more to talk about. Well, thank you. I hope you'll join me for the next one. If you have any insights, please share them with me. So, okay, we'll catch you later. Bye-bye.